Let's take the general case of the square thin plates and it is the rectangular thin plates. Here we will again consider that the rectangular thin plate is composed of the elementary thin rods. We will find the moment of inertia of the elementary thin rod and they will sum up these moment of inertia because of the different elementary parts and get the total moment of inertia. So first we will draw the figure. This is suppose rectangular thin plate. Thin plate means its thickness is negligible or zero. So total mass is distributed uniformly over the area of the rectangular plate. There are the two axes. One is x axis through the center of the square plate, rectangular plate and another is the y axis and we mark the length say a along the x axis and this width is b along the y axis. Third is a axis through the center which is say z axis which is passing through the center and is perpendicular to the plane of the rectangular plate while the x and y axis are in the plane of the rectangular plate. Now we will consider that this rectangular thin plate is composed of the elementary thin rods and we take a particular rod which has the length b and mass of this elementary rod is suppose dm and we know the formula for the elementary rod for road moment of inertia about the axis through the center and perpendicular to the road is 1 by 12 ml square where m is the mass of the road and l is the length of the road so moment of inertia of this road along the x axis will be equal to this is dix it is equal to 1 by 12 mass of the road is elementary mass dm and length is b so it is b square so to get the total moment of inertia of the square plate about the x-axis we will integrate this dix for whole x-axis and it will give integral 1 by 12 into dm into b square 1 by 12 into b square is constant so taken out and integral dm because mass is distributed uniformly so we will integrate them and we will get it is total mass is capital m therefore moment of inertia of the square plate about the x-axis will be equal to 1 by 12 mb square. Similarly, we can write that moment of inertia of the square plate about the y-axis, it will be equal to 1 by 12 ma square. And using the perpendicular axis theorem, we can write that ij is equal to ix plus iy. So it will be equal to 1 by 12 mb square plus 1 by 12 ma square and therefore ij is equal to 1 by 12 ma square plus b square. We have already said that it is a general case. As a special case, if a equal to b is the special case of the rectangular plate, if a equal to b, this refers the square plate. So for thin square plate, if we put the values here, we will have ij is equal to 1 by 12 m into b square plus b square and that is equal to 1 by 6 m b square, which we have already proved. Similarly, for ix, it is 1 by 12 m b square and for ij, because a equal to b, again we can write it is 1 by 12 m b square.